Hello, my name is Omid Habib, Product Marketing here at Harness. I'm really excited to announce a new feature we just launched called Tagging. I'm going to give you guys a demo of it in this video, and if you want more information, you can find it in this blog. Let's jump in. To access Tagging, you want to access the configuration of your application. I'm going to bring up an example called Retail Application. The component that I want to tag are my services. However, keep in mind that you can tag more than just that within Harness. The example service I'm going to use is account. When I bring up account, you'll notice a feature called add tag. When I click on it, I get a dialog box. I have two options. I can choose both the tag name and also the value. When I click on the tag name, I get a drop down of pre-existing tags. In this example, I'm going to create a tag called environment. I'm going to go back to services and choose another service to tag. It looks like this service already has been tagged. So let's go to a third service. All right, I'm going to tag this one with the same tag called environment. However, in this case, I want the value to be production. And because it doesn't exist, I'm going to go ahead and create it live. Now to access all my tags, I go to setup and then under the account section, I click on tags management. So you'll see I have on the left hand side, all my different tags. And then on the right hand side, all the different values to those tags. If I click on the tag itself, I can see all the different components within harness that are tagged with the tag itself and its different values. But if I click on the value, then I get to see all the tags associated with that tag under that particular value. On the right hand side, I can view the settings for this tag. An additional capability is that I could also limit the different values for this tag. So let's say for example, I have an environment tag and I want to limit it to development, staging and production. So I set my constraints for the tag environment. In this example, I'm going to set the constraints to staging, development and production. I'm also going to add a fourth value called QA and that completes my four different environments. So now when I go back to the configuration screen for my application, I'm going to go into services and then I'm going to try to tag a service. You'll now notice that the four available options are the four that I set earlier, QA, development, production, and staging. Thanks for watching. If you want more information around tags management, you can access it in our product docs located at docs.harness.io. Of course, you can also follow us on Twitter and keep watching our blog for more future updates.